hey everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be doing a holiday glam look for you all this is my first year doing a holiday glam look but i'm going to show you the products that i use and i'm also going to show you some new hair that i got so sit back relax and let's jump right into it okay you guys so i'm going to start off with moisturizing of course here i'm going to be using the summer fridays lip balm this is one of the newer um ones that she has i think it's the beige vanilla beige or whatever but i'm gonna put some of that on a little bit there get those lips moisturized next i'm gonna hop in with the sephora super hydrant mattifying moisturizer now i don't know how many of you guys have used this before but this product was out of stock for months and i had got a sample size and with one of my packages i had ordered a while back and i really enjoyed it and i have been waiting waiting for this to come back in stock and it finally did and although it says mattifying it is still moisturizing and this is what i'm going to use today for my primer so we're going to go ahead and do that go ahead and get the face moisturized and prime and let that soak into my skin okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows today i'm gonna be using the anastasia beverly hills brow definer and this is in the shade ebony this will be my first time using the brow definer i used the brow wiz before and of course y'all know huda is my jam but today we're gonna try this one okay y'all so i got y'all zoomed in for the eyes today we are going to be using a new palette this is the patrick ta four eyes palette and i know y'all have seen this palette everywhere this palette is so gorge i have been waiting for it to come back in stock for a while so this is what we're gonna play in today as y'all can see i got y'all zoomed in so let's jump right in I am going to prime my eyes with the P. Louise base, and this is the number two base. And I haven't used this in a while. So we're just going to put a little bit because a little bit of this goes a long way. And we're just going to blend it out. Okay, so now that we got that so the names of the shades are on the back i know y'all have seen this palette like everywhere so i'm not even gonna try to name the shades but we are going to take a fluffy brush and i want to dip into my transition color this shade right here this kind of light brown and let's put it in my crease Ooh. I should have tapped off some of the excess. So can y'all believe I'm doing eyes today first? Like I rarely do eyes first. But this is very opaque. It shows off very nicely. So we're gonna just blend it up to the brow. So next, I'm going to take this shade here, this lighter shade, and just kind of like buff out the edges. Okay. Next, we're going to go with this deep brown. And we're just going to tap that right here on our outer edge and then bring it into the crease just a little and for my lid color i am thinking like this pretty like it's kind of hard to see with my lighting but you know 
this shade right here put that or you know what i'll take that back let's do this shade right here it's kind of like a bronzy orangey shade we're gonna put that on the lid and i'm gonna take my finger Ugh. so pretty i'm gonna pack it onto the lid I like me like that. So I'm gonna take what's on my brush and just kind of blend those colors together. My inner corner, I'm gonna take that shade there. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the other eye off camera and then we'll do the rest of it. Okay guys, so next I'm going to and going in with the makeup by Mario. This is his um, Master Pigment Pro Pencil. And this is in the shade... Let's see, what is the shade? La, 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 la. The Perfect Brown. If I can get it out, it's a double-sided pencil. It has a brush on one side. And then, of course, the pencil on this side. So, I'm going to take this and kind of like smoke out my top. Oh, y'all. And it is so creamy give me like a wing oh i love that okay guys so here you can see me of course lining my eyes with the makeup by mario perfect brown eye pencil so majority of this video is going to be sped up and you'll see me doing my face here you see me going in with my favorite foundation of all times the NARS soft matte complete foundation in the shade Macau this is my favorite foundation of all time I need to do a video y'all where I rate my foundations but this foundation here is top tier I don't know why enough people don't talk about it I know we are in the season to be using hydrating foundations before a holiday look and a mask friendly foundation this right here is it she gets the job done honey I'm telling you she gets the job done and then of course i'm just blending and you see me go in with my other new fave makeup my mario sculpting stick in deep dark i love that stick i'm almost out of it y'all i'm like so proud of myself for almost like finishing products i'm doing so good and then i'm gonna of course um conceal with the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade walnut and then i'm gonna top it and go in with the shade that's a little brighter which is the anastasia beverly hills concealer in the shade 16 that is one of my new favorite concealers i'm telling y'all if y'all don't have it y'all need to go get it i don't know what y'all waiting for but it is top tier my dear top tier but yeah um so i'm gonna let the rest of the video play i will come back and talk to you guys about my new lip product that you'll be seeing me trying y'all and then of course you'll see me try the v part wig and we gonna y'all gonna we're gonna see how that work out but i hope y'all are having a happy holiday season i hope y'all are being safe because corona lachey the virus and her babies are out here in these streets honey and y'all just need to mask up even if you are vaccinated put your mask on and just be safe and be mindful and be careful because i'm telling y'all it's getting crazy but yeah so i will see you guys in the new year be safe So my, for my lip, we're going to be using the Rouge Dior Forever Liquid 999. Yes, I know these eyes are bright, but we're going to do a bright lip. 
So I am going to line my lip with this lippy from ColourPop and this is um, Love Bug. rub those lips together so I haven't done a red lip in a long time this is my first time trying Dior so let's see oh okay it feels good going on okay I like it. I know the eyes are kind of bold and the look is bold, but I like it. Not on the teeth. I like it. Okay, so we're gonna jump. I'm gonna zoom y'all a little more. Okay, so we're gonna jump into the hair portion. Today, the hair that I'm going to be using is from Eunice Hair. It is a V-part wig. This is my first time trying a V-part wig. And look, they gave me lashes and clips. I should have used those lashes. Those lashes are pretty. Get the hair out. I know, I am all over it. So the V part wig is supposed to be like a better version of the U part wig and I for one am down for that. So it's supposed to be where you don't leave like any hair out but we gonna see. But This is what it looks like. She's pretty with her curls, natural color. It has the V part and the combs there. So we gonna see if I can put this on. I got my hair just slicked down into a ponytail. And y'all, I got my hair pressed for my birthday last month. And I have been loving it. I like my natural hair. I do. I love it. But I also miss having my hair pressed and putting it in a ponytail a lot easier. Okay. So, let's see. God, I hope I can do this. And it came with a wig cap. But I don't know that you really need a wig cap. I mean because you want to leave some hair out so or not leave any hair out and you want to be able to see the part so all right I, okay my head is kind of small okay i see where they were attempting to go Okay, so did I clamp everything? Hmm. Okay, so I see where they were attempting to go with this. Um, the only problem I have is my head is small. <laughs> I didn't realize my head was small, or so I'm gonna have to pull some hair out. So I'm gonna pull some hair out, and I'll be right back okay y'all so i'm back with the v part wig my hair laid down so i had to pull hair out as y'all saw i don't know if my head's too big or it's too small but it didn't it wasn't working for me so i had to pull some hair out which i didn't pull out a whole lot but i see what they were going for um i didn't curl the wig or do anything to it i just left the natural body wave in it but i like how it looks and I like putting it behind my ear. I think that's nice. And I think what I'm going to do is put it in like a low pony. Just to like get it out my face. And that works too. But 
I see what they were going for. I see what they were going for. But I definitely can't wait to straighten this hair and see like how it looks. I think it's going to look really, really pretty. But yeah, let's see this face. So I set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Spray. And this is how she looks. But let's get into this lip. This lip, Dior yes i'm feeling the lip the eyes i love the eyes i love everything that i use today i will leave everything i use today listed down below um this video might be a voiceover it may not be it's kind of like all over the place it was definitely a struggle struggle video definitely <laughs> but i want to thank you all once again for tuning in please make sure if you are new you hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up leave me a comment down below and make sure you share this video and happy holidays to you all please remember to stay safe because omarion omicron whatever is out here in these streets honey and from your neighborhood respiratory therapist happy holidays